Hello, this is MakerJ101, and today we're going to do some aluminum casting using the lost foam method. So I just built a new crucible. This is made from a propane tank, just a normal one. And I cut in half so that it'll fit in my furnace perfectly. And then I added a bolt and two holes on it so that I can pick it up with my pole. So this is just a broomstick with a metal rod in it that's sharpened and a piece of wire that goes through a hole in it. It's actually coat hanger wire. So the idea is to stick it through the hole, and then when it sits in all the way, you turn it, and the little um, wire hits that bolt, and you can pick it up, and it doesn't slide off, and then you can pour your metal while you're about, oh, probably uh, two or three feet away from it. So it's pretty safe if it spills or something. And um, this is much better, much thicker than my cans that I was using before, just uh, soup cans, which kind of corroded through or got dissolved through so not very safe so this should last several more pours at least before it um, does the same thing so we're gonna try casting some um, styrofoam cups and we'll see if we can make some aluminum cups out of it alright so I've got my crucible all filled up with um, aluminum scrap and so let's put it in the furnace <clears throat> so here's my electric furnace again that I used in the all my other videos it's just an electric like kiln furnace thing um, uses a lot of power, but whatever. Um, and I actually made some changes to it because my furnace is kind of, um, normally it would sit up on this end, but you couldn't fit a very big crucible in there. So I turned it on its side. So see, my furnace is kind of tall, so I had to turn it on its side, but then the weight of the door doesn't hold the door closed. So I added these springs here on little bolts that I soldered on there. And now it holds the door open real nice and holds it closed. So now it actually doesn't lose as much heat anymore. You can actually touch the door without burning yourself because before, just the weight of the handle held it closed and it wasn't enough to make a good seal. So the springs help a lot. All right, so I didn't know how to get the sand to stay in when I flipped it upside down, but I just thought of something, duct tape. So let's fill the um, styrofoam cup up with sand. Then we gotta clean the edge off around here a little bit. A little bit extra sand. Well, I think that should work actually. The sand is staying in there. Alright, so let's pull it out and get some of the dross off, and then we'll put it back in and let it heat up again. Um, so, got my safety shield, some gloves. Low salt or salt substitute, and this has um, potassium chloride in it, which is one ingredient which you want for um, flux. <laughs> All right, so let's cast them. It's up to temperature now, and it's nice and full. Cool. So let's pull it out. And I already pulled the draw off, so it should be good and ready to cast. Oh yeah, not much draw on top. I think we should be fine. Let's cast it. Not to the can on both of those. I know it's egg nudes too. Alright, now the moment of truth to see if these cups, start from cups, are casted well out of aluminum. So, I'll do this one first, the one we did first. So, pour the sand out. Well, it actually somewhat worked. Uh, to a certain extent. Uh, not really. Kind of, but not very well. And let's see the other one. Oh. Yeah, look at that. So either the aluminum wasn't hot enough or it's just too thin and the aluminum cooled too quickly. 
Alright, so I have one more thing to try before I give up on this. Um, because as you can see, the first two didn't turn out very well. Only got about, oh, probably quarter inch, almost half inch down. Oh, it's still kind of hot. It's not real hot, but it's a little hot. Um, this one turned out even worse. So that longer sprue didn't really help. Maybe I didn't have it at high enough temperature. The detail on the sprue does look a little bit better than these ones, though. So, not really sure. Um, but I do have one more thing to try. Maybe this will work. Two cups on top of each other. Then will be a um, bigger area. It could also be that this diaphragm is just too dense. And maybe the uh, metal just can't melt it out of the way fast enough. One, two, three. Oh, it's actually going down in this time. So it might have worked. Alright, well this one that was double cups worked the best. So here's the other ones. As you can see, these ones just didn't work very well. But this one eh, pretty much worked, except for this area here. Looks kind of bad. So... So maybe if I had some, uh, oh, is it gates? No, sprues to um, get rid of the, or vents rather, to get rid of some of the gases, that might help. All right, so now let's try something else. So this is actually going to be a heat sink. I don't know if, I'm not actually going to use it. I just want to see if it'll work. But basically I took my foam cutter, or I basically glued a heat sink on the bottom here, and then I took my foam cutter and cut around it. So we'll see how it works. I don't know if it's going to work. It might be too fine of detail but I thought I'd try it anyway. And I put two straws on this one to see if um, those might work as vents to let the gases out. And here's another one using the white styrofoam. And um, so yeah. So we'll try that one too. And yeah, let's see how those work. So this is the blue high density foam and then this is just white styrofoam, so. All right, so here's the heat sink. It kind of turned out okay, up here at least. <clears throat> but as the um, fins kind of got thinner down here, because just the way um, that I had, that I cut it out, see here you can see some of the fins down there get really thin, but they start out pretty thick at the top, so I kind of expected it to do that, but it turned out not too bad, I guess. Um, at least it got all the way down to the bottom in, um, in the back part, so that's good. So now we're going to try this one with some straw vents on it, so maybe that'll help, I'm not sure. Um, but here's that cup I cut it off. You can actually see the logo there. But it's pretty poor quality in here. So I'm not really sure what that means, whether there's gases that were um, <clears throat> just trapped down there, or whether that's more like the quality of the aluminum. So, not really sure. But as, actually, this is the worst one where the um, sand actually, I didn't put enough sand in there. The other ones turned out really good, though. See how thin that is? All right, so I just poured that other heat sink. And look at that. It, the metal actually came out of those straws. So that means that this one might be perfect, hopefully. Fingers crossed. This one might turn out just awesome. Because <clears throat> if... If the metal actually flowed out of those straws, which I was not expecting it to, um, then that would have kept a, f a fresh supply of hot molten metal down there, and that might have melted all the styrofoam, and maybe it turned out perfect. So I put a little extra thing on there. Oh, not too bad. Well, look at the straws. They actually... Cool. It's kind of neat. Alright, so here's our most successful pours today. So we've got the cup. Cheers, guys. So this took two styrofoam cups, put them together, and it turned out okay, I guess. As you can see, there was actually a bit of air at the top there, so I didn't fill it in all the way with sand. So, but it's pretty heavy. So, and then we've got the failed cup. This is the most successful one that failed. But I just think it's too skinny, the styrofoam, to um, let the metal go through it. So it doesn't work. Here's the first heat sink. And it turned out all right, I guess. Most of it didn't pour. Or 
didn't make it all the way down there. I did since I just glued a heat sink um, on the bottom here and then cut it out. I set on the um, foam cutter like this and went around the heat sink. At the top here, they were a little bit skinnier, so that's possibly why it didn't make it all the way up. <clears throat> but yeah, so didn't work very well. And then we've got two ingots here, which turned out real nice. And here's our um, heat sink with the vents on it. The vents look really cool. They're just soda straws. You can see it picked up the detail of the elbows there. I really want to cast an anthill. That would be fun. Not sure what happened there, how that got a big lump. As well as up here, there's a bead. So it must have not gotten all the way filled in with sand or something. Or there must have been an air pocket or maybe some um, threads from hot glue or something. But, yeah, so maybe I'll keep that because it looks kind of cool. But, yeah, maybe I'll keep this too. Set on the shelf because I've got plenty of aluminum, so... Melt this back down though. More ingots. <clears throat> so yeah, that's about it guys. Hope you enjoyed this aluminum casting. Um, if you're going to try it yourself, be safe. And I'm not liable if you hurt yourself. So um, be safe guys. That's about it. Keep experimenting. Thanks.